Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 6480 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So, 35 moves, 160 jelly, 172 rainbow twists. But look at this. Some of them are trapped way over here under crystal behind these candy curls. We've got a whole network here. We do have some stripes, but we have to break through here. Now, I could make a stripe, and that would be handy for hitting the crystal. Or I could just bump up against this and start taking this out, which would help with the candy curls. I think I'm going to need a lot of help in the far reaches. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to break that up. And then I can always do something like this to snap those. Now I've got more real estate. I'm still not sure which strategy will end up playing out the best for me. But I have to do a little bit of exploratory searching here to figure out. There we go. More stuff cleared. Now I can make a wrapped and blow everything up all at once. Or I could do a stripe this way. But if I do this, this stripe is going to hit here. Let's do this, and let's just try to open up as much as possible. There we go. Oh, but look at this. I know, I still have 27 moves. I can be nervous. It's okay. And if I lose, I'm going to say, I told you so. All right, that's cleared. So now we're getting closer and closer to this. Let's make that because it, it's far-reaching, clears out that crystal candy. See, oftentimes under the crystal candy, you can just move your colors around and then break it that way. But we don't have that option. It doesn't have candy under it. It's got these rainbow twists. And notice that when we unsnap the, like when we, we clear off the crystal candy, then these form together. But when they're individual, then we have to hit them individually. So the more we can clear off before we attack these, the better off we'll be because they'll all snap together. Oh, color bomb. I can take a color bomb. Now, oftentimes I say don't waste your time trying to put things together if it doesn't look like it's going to happen right away. But in this case, I've got 17 moves and a lot of work to do. So. That's not going to be my strategy here. I've got to get this down one, two, three, four, five, six. If I'm going to match it up, I'm going to take out the green. Oh, wait, how did I do that? I only need to bring it down one now. I don't know what I did. And notice, I don't have a lot of green on the board. I'm going to risk this. I know it's dicey, but I want to clear this out just a little bit more before I attack with the green. Now I've got a lot of green here. I could make a wrap, I could make a stripe, or I could use them all as stripes. Okay, these are all connected, exactly what I wanted to have done. I still have to work on these guys over here, but I like the fact that I got the upper area done first. I've been making moves over here, but this is where the stripe dispensers are. What if I set off this wrapped candy and then just kind of go crazy here? And then, oh, look at that. I can use stripes to help down this way. Um, yikes. I don't really like this move. I need to bring these lower. Oh, I should have put that purple together. I moved too quickly. But let's do this. Let's make more stripes. Then I'm going to bring things down because I want these stripes to clear other things out. <gasps> I like that. Look at how those all banded together. Yeah, didn't quite make it this time, but I got a lot cleared out. And I learned a lot. I learned specifically not to jump too quickly, really to investigate each and every move. I've got five colors on the board. But when I open things up, then I've got a lot of different permutations. So many moves I could make. I need to ascertain what is the best move, especially to reach the corners. So that's what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'm going to have the microphone turned off initially. But then once I figure things out, I'll come back and narrate it for you. Okay, so this took me three tries. I really enjoyed this level, especially the more I played and the more I understood. 
Yes, there's banging behind me. It's cats trying to hunt moths against the wooden blinds. Yeah, oh well. All right, so notice I'm trying to clear out as much as possible and get over to the edge. And now I need to focus on those color combos and the um, special combos that I can get. So look at this. If I take out these red, one of the red drops down. That's the color combo I'm talking about. Now I've got a color bomb and then a color bomb took out a color. And I think I can put the green together and then move the orange out of the way. But I don't have a lot of green. On oh, now I have a lot of green on the board. However, look at this. I can get another color bomb. That takes out a layer of everything. It may be that the green stripes were able to hit several things more than once. But taking out a layer of everything gives me a great deal of help. And now here, I'll take that color bomb stripe combo. Look at how much that has opened the board looking at the colors that are available and trying to go for the combos is really helpful. I'll make the wrapped even though it's pretty far away because it also creates some stripes for me. And I'm trying to get a combo. Ooh, look at this. Now look at all of these stripes coming out of the dispenser. So maybe working to the left-hand side and making those wrapped weren't good. Oh, look, I can take out all of those rainbow twists now down below. So this is just two up above. I can put a striped wrap together. If it holds, it held. So now all of the rainbow twists are gone. And look at this. Now I'm looking at, you know, this orange here. I could get the orange together, but oh my goodness, I just got a color bomb. I don't need to put the orange together. That is how I beat that level. That last run was super fun because I won. Uh, but also, I like it when we've got a nice big board and we can make lots of combos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.